Hi everybody, it's viewers question time and it's from Lou. So Lou, you have said, I really, really hope you get this email and a chance to read it. Your channel has helped me so much and your meditations are a godsend. I've recently started your 12 week course, How to Attract a Wonderful Relationship. And it's forced me to look at my life and relationships in a completely new way. It actually makes me sad and admittedly anxious for my future because I have riddled myself with this idea that no one will ever stick around long enough to love me. It just so happens that when I started your course, my trainer was showing interest in me and asked me out just before Christmas. It was so exciting, but he cancelled the last minute with work and we never got around to meeting up. Anyway, the new year came and we had our first class exercise and he was showing me loads of attention and messaged me and I felt like I was on ecstasy. I just felt amazing. I continued your course and sent all the positive vibes to the universe that I could possibly send. However, I was very aware of the niggling feeling of negativity in my belly. A week later, he told me he is seeing someone else. A week? My heart literally felt like it dropped from my chest and with weight and I cried for ages. I hate that I may have caused this because of my beliefs which are embedded in me. However, I don't really know what it is I want to ask you. I told him I was disappointed. I told him I hope it all works out. But there is a huge part of me that wants him to prove me wrong. That wants him to come back and tell me he made a mistake. I know it's possible, but please, please, please help me to overcome these beliefs that seem to be clinging to me for dear life. They're tearing at my love life. If you wish to read this out, please do. Okay, so Lou, I'm going to backtrack because there's lots of bits and pieces in here that you have said that have jumped out at me. You, I have riddled myself with this idea that no one will ever stick around long enough to love me. So it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. You believe that and he's fulfilled it. You have to change that thought. And the thought is a dominant thought and then the dominant thought is a belief. A belief is a thought you keep thinking. Abraham Hicks probably is the best one that it says that in simple terms. So you have to change your repetitive habitual negative thinking. Okay. Men stick around. And we have great relationships. I'm just giving you an example. Okay. You have to change and make the effort for what you do in your own head. Okay. Firstly. So secondly, you said something else. He messaged me and I felt like I was on ecstasy. Okay. See, that's a red flag for me. Because if you get such a high off another person giving you attention, but you can't do it for yourself, that tells me that you believe love is over there in another person. Please get this. It is not another person's job to make you feel like you're on ecstasy. It is your job. Okay. Now you can do that. How? Through self-love and affirmations and repetition of changing what's in your head okay then you're not looking to someone else to give you anything for you to feel better okay so when you said that it was a red flag because you said i felt like i was on ecstasy i felt amazing so it's like you associate I can't feel like that unless someone else is doing that for me. And he's like a drug. You even use the word ecstasy. Ecstasy is a drug. Okay. I know you didn't mean it in exactly that way, but words are powerful. Okay. You can feel ecstasy with your own self-love. And I can tell you when you get to the place where you can do that for yourself, you're not dependent on another person to prove it to you. And I'm going to come to that point in a minute too, because you mentioned something a bit further down. So I was aware of this niggly of negativity in my belly. That's what you have to deal with. This is always between you and you. What do I mean? It means relationship issues are only photocopies of what we've got going on within us and they echo it out. So you've got to work on what's niggling negativity within you to change what goes on out there with him or with anybody else. 
okay so he told you he was seeing someone else so ask yourself the question do I believe I'm not good enough do I believe I'm second best do I believe I'm not a priority I'm not important I don't matter if you've got any of those you've got to work on the opposites I'm loved I'm wanted I'm deserving I'm worthy I'm a priority I'm important I matter you work on those affirmations the direct opposite mirror image of what you negatively believe I personally when I see people succeed it's those that do about 500 to a thousand a day does that seem like a lot it does but it only takes about 30 minutes to do 500 in my experience okay so now the other thing you said is my heart literally felt like it dropped from my chest with weight and I cried for ages now what that tells me is you had this huge reaction to a guy that you didn't even have a relationship with we've got to look at this clearly that is well out of proportion to be feeling like that when someone you haven't dated yet changes their mind disappointment I understand but this crying for ages over a guy that you don't have a relationship with tells me this is old shit from childhood okay can I suggest you go and do the inner child meditation by Dr. Hugh Len and clear some of the old stuff that meditation is excellent it's simple it's 16 minutes long you go through it and you start to let the inner child deal with what's going on and let it up and out okay now you said I don't really know what I want to ask you I told him I was disappointed and told him I hope it all works out well that's good at least you said that now now you've put huge I uh, there's a huge part of me that wants him to prove me wrong darling Lou it's not up to him to prove it to you okay let me get this straight to you it's up to you to prove it to you that you are loved it's not up to him to prove it to you that you are loved or wanted it's your job you do it okay I'm gonna be a bit tough on you you have to do this you don't have to but if you want to break free from where you're at you're the one that has to work on the self-love and stop looking to other people to fill the void for you people don't want that job they don't want that job because they've got their own love to do they've got their own giving to themselves to do they don't want to have to do themselves and then have to do you on top of it and unfortunately Lou a lot of women have this stuff and women need to rise up and do this work within themselves and stop putting this burden on men or if you're in a gay relationship on the other person okay so yeah you're saying I know it's possible but please please help me well I think you got your ladder up the wrong wall it's not up to him or any other person to prove to you anything it's up to you to work on changing your beliefs and it's part of learning about relationships and it's part of learning how to correct what's going on within us it's okay that you have it but it's what you're doing here at the moment of he has to I want him to prove it to me I want him to prove that I'm worthy that I'm deserving that I'm loved that I'm wanted no 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 it is your job you have to feel that and give that to a relationship not be walking into a relationship and trying to get that from someone this guy felt it from you he felt it and he turned away and he walked away he chose someone else now that's okay doesn't feel okay but what I'm saying to you is he's teaching you something and he's teaching you that the work needs to be done from within and therefore you don't repel people you attract them when you're emotionally stable when you're emotionally at peace when you're emotionally connected to you through being responsible for how loved or unloved you feel I can tell you you finally set yourself free okay can I suggest Lou do self-love meditations every day one do at least 500 affirmations like the ones that were mentioned 
at least every day and also continue to look after the self physically lots of sleep rest do your eating properly as in eat healthy food drink lots of water exercise get your physical self sorted then you get your mental self sorted affirmations meditations and that will impact your emotional self which is where the issues are but there's two steps before that can correct the emotional state the physical and the mental but you have to do that stuff first for the emotional to correct itself okay so Lou there you go and you know you're not the only one that feels this I can tell you there's many 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 people that feel like this but it's a self job self job do it for you and then you are free you set yourself free freedom has to be chosen through what we think and then from what we think it affects how we feel and then how we feel then goes forth and impacts relationships we become attractive to people not just physically emotionally mentally okay all right my darling lots of love and you can change this it's nothing set in stone but do it for you don't do it to get him to come and prove anything to you do it for you